So hey everyone, this is Charles, not head custom sawing. Um, <clears throat> we are going to take our planer head off of our Lucas mill. We stripped out the sprocket hub, which is the drive hub for the slabber. That's the sprocket, drives the uh, chain for slabbing. Here's the hub. You can see right here we st stripped these splines off. And these hubs are custom made by Lucas. The hub's not too expensive, it's like 110 bucks. But the sprocket, the replacement sprocket sucks. It's uh, like 150 bucks. So we're gonna be taking that off because it isn't no good anymore. We're throwing that in the pile. And uh, we're gonna be putting this one on. This is custom made. It uses a Oregon harvester sprocket and a tamper lock adapter and some bolts to hold it together instead of a big nut that's going to come off if you don't get it tight enough. So we are going to proceed with this. i got to take my planer head off. I'll show you how we do that. Everybody has their own way, but this is what works for us and with what's in the toolkit. Um, we have some things in the toolkit that aren't standard, but we try to use as much stuff that come with the mill as possible. So in order to take it off, I use this. This is my riving knife. This is the riving knife that usually mounts over here with the uh, circular blade. I use that to hold things in place while I'm taking the uh, nuts out. It's pretty simple actually. Get it wedged in here behind two bolts rest it up against the mount that it mounts on and that lets, lets me take these nuts off real easy without bashing my fingers tearing stuff up I don't have to have nothing special nobody to sit here and try to hold it because they're a pain in the butt to hold loosen up all these nuts And I'm just wedging that riven knife in there. And I can take all the nuts out. Easy peasy. Don't drop them in the sawdust though, because you might never find them. Anybody that's ever had a Lucas mill, you guys know that these bolts right here tend to tighten up real tight if you get them tight to begin with. It makes it hard to get them out because it's just an Allen head. So I take a pick, just a regular old pick. Get under there and clean the holes out. the holes get all packed with sawdust so I clean the holes out to make sure that when I put the allen key in there it doesn't uh, <clears throat> have a tendency to strip off now I need to find my allen key Standard Allen driver takes them out. 
but you will notice when I start taking these out that they are not very tight. Very little pressure is required to loosen these because they have nuts on them. So that's what keeps them tight. If you put them on there too tight and it starts to strip out and you're on a job site, you're kind of screwed unless you got a welder. That's the only easy way to get them out is to put a bit in there, weld it in to the screw from underneath and take it out. Essentially you lose a bolt and you lose an Allen driver. So I don't put them in very tight, just hand tight. But you can see that they, uh, they'll strip out pretty easy. Pretty simple actually, pretty straightforward. Hold on to this when you're taking it off because it's heavy. And there's my planter head. You can see all the carbide inserts, they're kind of covered in sawdust right now, but there's 12 carbide inserts. On this disc, it's 11 inches around, probably 5 eighths of an inch thick, probably weighs 7 or 8 pounds. It's pretty heavy. Makes quick work of planing slabs, though. Put that in the case. Let's clean this flange off. <clears throat> Always clean this flange off so everything mounts good to it. Now we can get started with this. This comes apart. Take these bolts out. This is the taper lock. That goes into the Oregon rim sprocket, standard rim sprocket that's like 50 bucks. And this is what locks it all together. There's the hub. Hub is a lot like the Lucas one, but it's just got a round shaft on it. Three holes for your bolts. Hold everything together. So when we put our screws back in, always use some of this. This is NACs. This just also prevents getting stuck in there. Very little is needed. Put that on all the bolts. And anybody that's had a bolt get stuck, you know it's a total pain in the butt to get out. just like we normally would This hub will fit on any Lucas 820, 830, 1030. Uh, it won't fit on the smaller ones. It just fits on the 8s and the, the 10s as far as I know. This is a non-standard item. It's custom made. 
if anybody's interested in one, I can help get one for you. When we uh, go to tighten them up, I tighten with very little pressure. Because I do not, do not want You got it semi tight. Pick up your bolts that dropped in the sawdust. Put the nuts on. over from slabber to blade or slabber to planer attachment quite often so this is actually taking a lot longer than it normally does put your ribbon knife back in in the opposite direction snug these bolts down Be super tight. Just snug them up. And if you do this like I'm saying and not put these bolts in real tight, you will never have a blade or a hub or a planer attachment stuck on this machine to where you can't get it out because the bolt stripped. If you do have a bolt that starts stripping, keep some spares. Put in a new one. They're cheap. Now, we need to line up the holes. Line up the holes. There's holes that are threaded and holes that are just holes. Same thing on the taper lock. You want to line up the holes that are just holes. Not holes that have threads, but holes that have holes beneath them. Kind of smush it in there a little bit to get it started. That's where your bolts go so that the bolts go all the way through. And I'm going to put some anti-seize on these bolts. Cause this is new, they don't have none on. Turn your uh, hub upside down. Slide the taper lock over the adapter and find the threaded hole for your screws. There's only three. It's not that hard to find them. Now you can see approximately how the assembly goes together. bolted on sprocket taper lock screws now you gotta tighten them up so all you gotta do is take your allen driver and do about a quarter of a turn per screw so that it tightens up that taper lock evenly and it will loosen the bolts one at a time and you got to just keep going until they get tight but you only want to go a quarter or half turn at a time so you don't wedge that thing in there crooked
And then when you need to take it apart, you take these screws out, put them in the threaded holes. And if you put them in the threaded holes, tighten the screws back up. And it's basically its own pressing mechanism and it presses itself apart. So you should never have a hard time getting it apart. And like these bolts right here, if you got one that starts to strip out, go get a new one. Don't reuse it. So if you reuse it, you're just asking for problems. And when you go to take it apart, you want to make sure that you clean these Allens out before you shove an Allen driver in them. If you don't clean them out and they have some sawdust in them your allen driver is not going to be able to get into the bottom of the socket of the screw and you're going to strip them and you'll notice i'm using a quarter inch drive ratchet because i don't want to put a hole buttload of torque on these and break screws I want to be able to get it back apart And voila, we have a nice shiny new hub with a nice shiny new Oregon sprocket that's cheap to replace. It has hardened steel pins in it so it will not wear out as fast as the regular one. And yes, you got to pay a little bit up front for it, but now I don't have to deal with this anymore. Because this nut is a pain in the ass to keep tight. I'm going to have to deal with these anymore to position my sprocket so that it's lined up with the bar groove. I don't have to spend $150 on a rim sprocket. I can just spend $50. And I don't have to worry about broken teeth on my hub. So if anybody wants a hub that's got a couple broken teeth with a sprocket and some washers and a nut let me know because I got one in my toolbox that I'm never going to use again so that's just a little bit of Lucas Mill maintenance or should I say swapping over from planer to slabber and uh, thanks for watching this is not hit custom sawing over and out have a good day